Hello everyone. My name is Stephen Yellen and I have the privilege and pleasure of talking to you today from the very beautiful Orchid Island Golf and Beach Club located in the heart of a very beautiful city in Florida, Vero Beach, Florida. You are going to listen and hear and learn a very special set of instructions on this DVD. This is going to be unlike anything that you've heard before. Though some things you've heard before, but not quite in this manner. My background is in golf and tennis. In 1971, a long time ago it seems, I was the Florida State High School singles tennis champion and a member of the championship team. I went on to play number one singles at the University of Pennsylvania, was a member of the All Ivy team there, even had a win over John McEnroe in my college days. But something very, very special happened to me when I was a senior at Penn. In a very ordinary challenge match, something extraordinary happened to me. I had a zone experience unlike any experience I've ever had on the tennis court before. Everything slowed down, my intellect shut down, wasn't thinking, just reacting, and my motion became as fluid and smooth as one can imagine and as one can desire. And I walked off that court and I thought to myself, not only is this the most profound experience I've ever had on the tennis court, this is the most profound experience that I've ever had in life. It was very much so a spiritual experience. It was as if nature opened up a portal and said, Stephen, we want you to take a very careful and close look at what produces effortless fluid motion in sports, in tennis. And then we're going to close that portal. And then you have to figure it out. And you know, I thought about that experience for a number of days, and I finally realized what precipitated it. And I thought, in my 22-year-old college naivety, you know, this is going to take a year or two to figure out. I can do this. I can teach someone how to set up these conditions that I experienced just by chance. It took 35 years of teaching, not only in golf and tennis, but in other sports as well, because this experience of, of going into the zone, of having those days where you just feel you're playing your best, it's a very subtle experience. You're not too sure what's going on. Just think of it, you as a golfer. You have your best ball striking days. You walk off the course, every putt you looked at, you made. The putter felt like, like butter, like putty in your hand. Complete control over the line, complete, complete control over the speed, always bringing the club face back, squared at impact, hitting it solid, compressing the ball correctly. You walk off the course, and you know what? You're not too sure why you had that experience on that particular day. Am I right or wrong? Then your ball striking ability starts to go south a little bit. You, you can't quite bring that club back to squared impact. You're a little off at the top. You can't find the slot on the way down. Your follow through and your finish is not where it should be. And when you have that experience, you are not too sure why you had that experience. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle region in the mind that produces those zone experiences where the motion becomes very fluid and effortless. Very subtle. Now, when someone says the mind and someone says sports, what do you think of? Sports psychology. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with sports psychology. This program that you're going to learn is based on science. It's based on the neurophysiological processes that you have to experience in your mind in order to produce fluid motion in the body. What controls the body? Sports is all about motion. Motion is all about the muscles. Where is the operating system of the muscles located? Where is it located? If it was located in the body, 
you would just go out and pound a thousand balls a day on the range and after pounding enough balls you would own that motion. But what happens in local tournaments? What happens in club championships? What happens in PGA tournaments? You deposited all of those swings in a muscle memory bank. Then you get to the 14th fairway and you're 150 yards out from the green. And you're thinking, I deposited all these good swings in the muscle memory bank. I want to withdraw one swing from this bank. So you go to the teller and say, Mrs. Teller, I would like to withdraw one seven iron that I already hit a thousand perfect seven irons on the driving range. And the teller looks you in the eye and says, I am so sorry, Mr. Yellen. You have no funds in your account. Get the picture? See the point? What controls the body is processes in the mind. You have to experience certain processes in the mind in order to repeat those 1,000 great seven irons that you hit on the range. Now, when an athlete is in the zone, golfers, basketball players, football players, hockey players, lacrosse players, swimmers, divers, skiers, when they are playing at their highest level, they describe their experience in similar terms. When a tennis player is playing lights out, he's describing the experience the same way that a PGA golfer is playing when he wins a major championship. Why? Because everyone's operating system affects everyone's body identical. This is the beauty of the program. This is the beauty of how nature created the relationship between the mind and the body. Now this program does not take the place of instruction from a PGA professional. It does not. You have to learn how to take the club back, where it should be on the way down. And you have to learn this from someone who's qualified to teach this, your local PGA professional. But the question is, after you learn it, after you understand the swing mechanics, after you've practiced it enough times, how do you repeat it? How do you repeat it? Especially, how do you repeat it under pressure? That's what this program is all about. This program will make you a better golfer. You will become more consistent. And you will enjoy golf more. There is no question about that. So now that you understand that it's the processes in the mind that control and affect and, in, and are in charge of processes in the body, I think it would be a very intelligent idea just to take a closer look at what those processes in the mind are.